Let's talk about once saved, always saved. And is it biblical? According to Camden News, listen to this. It says, uh, the, uh, the doctrine of once saved, always saved, teaches that it, that it is not possible for a child of God to sin in such a way that he will be lost. Many people who are undoubtedly very sincere and possess a desire to do what is right find tremendous comfort in this doctrine. This, however, is not taught in the Bible. Let me repeat that. This doctrine, however, is not taught in the Bible. So what is taught in the Bible? First, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, above all. God knows we're going to inevitably screw up. That we can't live the gospel perfectly. Because we live in a fallen world. We are a fallen people. What the Bible teaches, what the gospel teaches, is that when we screw up, we go to Heavenly Father and say, hey, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? And then you pick yourself up, do your best to not repeat the sin again. The Bible teaches that as, that as long as, as much as we repent, he will forget our sins that we have done and remember them no more. But the very moment that we stop repenting, stop progressing towards him, we're, we are inev inevitably using our agency to choose to not follow him. We are in inevitably choosing that free gift, choosing to not accept that free gift that has been given to us. The doctrine of once saved, always saved is not biblically taught. This is why I do not agree with this. And I was inspired to do this video after being, being in a live last night. And this is why I say, when you hear something, when you learn something, before you apply it to your life, go to Heavenly Father. Ask the source of all knowledge and, uh, and of all truth. Is this what I should be following? Is this true? And he will let you know. Have a good day.